The designation of the Amaute and Tebes groups as terrorists serves as a strong signal that the government is prepared to take decisive measures against any individual organization that poses a threat to the safety and security of our citizens. So magandang araw, magandang hapon, magandang gabi mga kadiyo. Tebes at labing dalawang iba pa, idineklarang terorista ng pamahalaan. Idineklarang terorista ng pamahalaan si Suspendeg Negros Oriental Arne Tebes dahil sa kaugnayan nito sa private army. Yan ang deklarasyon ng Anti-Terrorism Council laban sa mga Tebes. Kahanay nilang idineklarang bilang terorista ang Mauti Group. Ayon sa ATC, malinaw na terorista si Negros Oriental Representative Arne Tebes. Damay na rin sa deklarasyon ang kapatid na si dating Governor Pride Henry Tebes. Si Congressman Tebes ang itinuturing mastermind sa pagkamatay ni Negros Oriental Governor Ruel de Gamo noong Marso dahilan para maging sulido ang hawak na ebidensya ng pamahalaan laban dito. Pero si Tebes, tinawanan lamang ang hakbang ng gobyerno laban sa kaniya. Sa adin niya na matagal na niyang alam na ididiklara siyang terorista. Pinag-aralan naman ng kampo ni Tebes ang opsyon na matanggal sila sa listahan. Pinisyo naman ng kampo ang hakbang ng pamahalaan gayong wala pang kasong naisampa sa korte laban sa mga akusado. Ngayong deklarado ng terorista sila Tebes at labing dalawang iba pa, please na ang kanilang asset at hindi na maaaring galawin ayon sa Anti-Money Laundering Council. Pero maaari na ba siyang aristuhin matapos ang designation? So panoorin po natin ang full video mga kadiyo. The Anti-Terrorism Council or the ATC has taken a decisive step in the fight against terrorism. Based on probable cause and unwavering commitment, the ATC has officially designated individuals and groups that pose a grave threat to our nation's well-being. First, the Maute Group has long been identified as a terrorist organization. With ties to the ISIL and a history of violence culminating in the devastating Marawi siege in 2017, the designation of Hafida Romato Maute and Nahara Kahiria City Hamim as terrorists further solidify our resolve to combat terrorism at its roots. Additionally, we have designated Congressman Arnolfo A. Tevez and his armed group, the Tevez Terrorist Group, as terrorists. The decision comes after meticulous investigation into their violent activities that have caused harm to innocent lives in Negros Oriental, including that of Governor Roel de Gamo. The Tevez terrorist group's actions have sowed fear and intimidation among the residents of the province. The tragic incident on March 4, 2023, which claimed several lives and left many others injured, is a stark reminder of the threat posed by private armed groups within our country. The ATC's designation is not arbitrary, but based on compelling evidence and factual incidents in accordance with the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020. We, the ATC, have found probable cause to warrant these designations covering offenses related to committing terrorism, planning, training, preparing, and facilitating terrorist acts, recruitment and membership in a terrorist organization, as well as providing material support to terrorists. The designation of the Maute Group and the Tevez Terrorist Group as terrorists is a significant stride towards addressing the proliferation and emergence of private armed groups within our nation. By identifying and confronting these threats head-on, we reinforce our commitment to upholding law and order, safeguarding our citizens, and ensuring the prevalence of peace and security in every corner of our beloved country. The ATC's main objective is to combat terrorism and ensure the safety and security of our citizens. The Anti-Terrorism Act was enacted to empower the government in its efforts to prevent and respond to acts of terrorism effectively. It is, essentially to note, it is essential to note that for as long as violent acts fall within the definition of terrorism, the government will not hesitate to designate individuals or groups as such as mandated by law to protect the greater welfare of our nation. Our commitment to combating terrorism and its root causes remains unwavering. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. had a vision for us, for a peaceful and progressive nation, and this is what drives the ATC 
forward in this endeavor. By designating these individuals as terrorist groups, we take significant steps towards combating impunity and holding those responsible for acts of terrorism accountable. Our nation's safety and well-being are paramount, and we will continue to work tirelessly to dismantle terrorist groups and safeguard our communities. We would also like to emphasize that the, designation, the decision to designate individuals and groups as terrorists is not taken lightly. The Anti-Terrorism Council conducts thorough investigations and considers compelling evidence and factual incidents before making such designations. The process is governed by the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020 and adheres to the principles of due process and respect for the rule of law. Moreover, the designations made by the ATC are based on a separate and independent investigation. Together with our law enforcement agencies, we will work together and relentlessly in dismantling the organizations that seek to sow terror and chaos. We reaffirm our dedication to preserving the rule of law, protecting our citizens' rights and liberties, and creating an environment where all Filipinos can thrive without fear or intimidation. Thank you for your attention, and we remain steadfast in our pursuit of a peaceful and progressive Philippines. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. At the onset, let me just uh, clarify that we are holding this press conference here in Malacanian uh, precisely because the ATC is led by the Executive Secretary and the Vice Chair is the National Security Advisor. So um, maybe some are wondering why not holding the DOJ. No? It's here because the ATC is a, attached to the Office of the President. So um, the National Security Council led by National Security Advisor Eduardo Año Vice Chair of the ATC, fully supports the designation of the following individuals as terrorists under the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020. Hafida Romato Maute, the wife of the former Amir of the Islamic State, East Asia, Abu Sakarya, for violations of Section 4, Section 6, and facilitating the commission of terrorism under the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020. Number two, Nahara Kairia Siti Hamim, the wife of Abu Mursid, the sub-leader in finance and logistics officer of the same organization for violation of Section 4 of the Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020. And finally, Congressman Arnie Teves and his armed group as terrorist organization. Section 25 of, of RA 11479 bestows on the Anti-Terrorism Council the power to designate a person or an organization as a terrorist, making the power and the process executive in nature. We wish to emphasize that the killings in the province of Negros Oriental must not be taken as isolated incidents of violence unrelated to each other. These killings reveal an unmistakable pattern of being meticulously planned and executed to ensure the maximum effect on the population of Negros Oriental. The evidence gathered by the ATC compels us not to treat the killings, abuses, and the acquisition of high-powered firearms and explosives as independent and isolated crimes because these acts are not committed just to cause injury to people or to grab property. These violent acts were motivated by the underlying objectives to intimidate the residents of Negros Oriental and create an atmosphere of and spread the message of fear. And he is using his position in government to thoroughly control the province through fear and intimidation. Therefore, we wish to clarify that the designation of Congressman Arnie Tevez and his armed group is not solely premised on the assassination of Governor Digamo. Rather, the killing of Governor Digamo and his supporters helped the Anti-Terrorism Council establish the pattern of violent activities that warrant his designation and that of his group as a terrorist organization. This designation is necessary to address the significant threat posed by the Tevez group to the security and well-being of our nation, especially those residing in Negros Oriental. In conclusion, 
the designation of Kong Teves and his armed group as a terrorist organization is a significant step towards addressing the presence of private armed groups in the country as it sends a clear message against them. Furthermore, it brings us closer to the goal of combating impunity as these designations seek to hold accountable those who perpetrate acts of terrorism and violence in our country. The designation of the Amaute and Tevez groups as terrorists serves as a strong signal that the government is prepared to take decisive measures against any individual organization that poses a threat to the safety and security of our citizens. Maraming salamat po. So, ito lang po ang ating news update ngayon mga kadiyo. And please comment down below kung ano ang magsasabi nyo sa video na ito. And please pakisupport naman ang ating Facebook page para magpatuloy pa tayo sa paggawa ng bagong news update. Maraming salamat po at magandang araw.